Some people said that it would never work, but I saw a problem which this technology could solve. Namely, the driver's desire to reach their destination faster, more safely and more economically. It was by no means clear that it would become an invention. My name is Otmar Pilzak. I'm a communication engineer and studied in Aachen. After completing my doctorate, I joined Bosch in 1978, where interesting tasks awaited me. I'm particularly proud of the invention of the autonomous navigation system, AFA. The basic idea of the AFA system was to safely guide drivers from A to B. That was also why it needed to work largely without a visual display. The idea was to guide drivers to their destination using speech. Some people said that it would never happen. However, throughout it all, I was always convinced that there was a demand for this type of navigation system, that customers would be willing to invest money in devices like these. I was also convinced that somehow, someday, technology would make it possible. The time came in 1984 when we presented AFA to the press. There was a lot of press coverage. In the beginning, AFA did not work with GPS. AFA only utilized positioning sensors mounted on the wheels. These wheel sensors automatically determined the vehicle's route and driving direction. Digital maps are one of the core elements of a navigation system. They are complex and expensive to produce. In 1985, Bosch decided to take the digitalization of Germany and of all of Europe into its own hands. For a time, I was not happy about the fact that AFA development had been shelved while the Travel Pilot IDS development was completed because it could not provide voice route guidance. In 1995, once the navigation system had actually been launched, we, namely the team, were awarded the Powell Peach Prize. Today, when I get into a car, it almost always has a navigation system, and that is reason enough to be satisfied.